guys, it's Natasha. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing like a fun, colourful, glam makeup, like full on, full coverage, lots of colour. So yeah, um, and we may even put some more lashes on today. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to go on with foundation first. I'm not going to bother with primer today. Um, I've got a new foundation. It is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. Looks like that. It is the 130 Porcelain. I do like, I've only worn it once, so this is going to be another like, time trying it. I do like it, because it's really nice colour, full coverage. And um, more like medium to full coverage, you can build it up. Build it up. But I don't like, like how you get it out, it's like really weird. So you have to twist it up, and then it goes everywhere, so. Ooh, feels funny. You could probably use this as a brush as well. Shall we try that? No, it's not going to go as a brush as well. Probably a tad too pale for me, but once I put everything else on, it's fine. And you probably use a lot more this way than, funny, than you would like with a pump or... So that. I'm just going to blend it in with my beauty blender, the one I always use. Okay, so foundation is on. I just need to grab a wet wipe. I have to wipe my hands afterwards because otherwise it's all over my hands and it gets everywhere. So I did build it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, my nose is doing a bit of a funny thing so it's not really sitting on there properly. But it's okay. I'm just going to grab a bit of, ugh, just wipe that off. Is anybody else I hate the feeling of um, foundation on their lips? I'm just going to put a tiny bit of, I don't really need it, but just a tiny bit of concealer on my eyes. It's just the Makeup Revolution Concealer Define. Pat that in. Now I'm just going to set it using my Revlon Translucent Powder, whatever. Translucent powder you have is fine. Now normally I would go in with concealer under my eyes and the rest of my face, um, like where I need it, but because this look is so bright, you have quite a bit of fallout. Um, I'm just going to um, do my eyes, and then I'll do my then I'll wipe away the fallout, and then I'll do my um, concealer. Okay, we are going to use the Zulu by Juvia's Place palette. And I'm also going to use this little blush. It's from NYX. It looks like that. Very pink. It's called Electro. It's very nice. Um, I'm kind of mainly still like pinky today. Might go on with a bit of yellow and orange at the top and then pink. I'm not really sure. Just have a bit of a play around. But I know I want to like... Um, really bright and vibrant just washing just wiping my brush i really should do this before i film but I couldn't bother. okay i'm gonna go in with the um i'm gonna mix the two top colors the yellow and the orange one tap off the excess and start on my outer corner and my crease and then bring it and, and then just in windshield wiper motions, go back and forth and then circle it around a bit. Going to pick up some more yellow. I might put the yellow, I've just done that in the inner corner. I actually really like that. So put a e bit of extra of the yellow in the inner corner, it looks really nice. I'm just going to grab a bit of the orange and it's going to be in the outer corner. So kind of like a gradient effect and just really blend that in. Looking good. Now, you can use whatever brushes you want, I'm just using my normal brushes that I use in every video. And I'm just going to take the NYX pink blusher and I'm just going to 
probably using the wrong brush but I really don't care. I'm gonna stamp that on my lid. Oh I like that. And just kind of blend that through the crease as well. Now I'm just going to take the pink from the um, the Zulu palette, the one, I'll show you, I'll try and show you. So I hope you can see that, it's that one, the bright one, not the shimmery one, but that one. And that's just kind of go, going to go on top, just to make it that little bit brighter. And then just blend that through the grays. I'm just going to take my fluffy brush again and blend that through. Now, let me just find my brush. I'm just going to go ahead with the orange and the yellow again just to kind of get that colour back. And blend that through the crease like that. You don't have to if you like it just how it was then you can leave it. But I wanted a little bit more colour. And then just blend it through with your fluffy brush. I'm just going to grab just any clean brush and I'm going to take the yellow from the Juvia's Place palette and I'm just going to put that in the inner corner just up there because I really like that yellow. And then I'm not going to really blend in it, I'm going to blend in really lightly just so I don't lose that colour. Um, I'm just going to grab a flat brush and take the pink, you can either do the one from the Juvia's Place or the next one, whichever one you like better, and just pop that on the lid. So you do get a bit of fallout, but that's okay. You can do your eyeshadow before. Um, your eyeshadow before your foundation if you like. I used to, but I kind of found I'm actually quicker this way. It kind of depends, like, if I'm doing it on, like, someone else, I'll generally do foundation, I mean, I'll generally do eyes first, because it's just easier to clean up, um, but yeah. If you've gone too high up, like I've done, like, you don't really want your eyeshadow touching your brow bone, just grab your finger, make sure it's clean, and then just wipe along there, and then just blend it out. Now, it may look messy, but I am going to clean it up. Ugh, my tissues are all the way over there. Oh, I'll just use this one, hang on. Take a tissue. Okay, if you are going to do this look or very colourful look, do your eyes first. <laughs> I've just learned. Okay, now I'm going to conceal. Um, I'm going to use two concealers. I have to clean up. Okay, I'm going to use two concealers. I'm going to use a Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in 02. It looks like that I do like this concealer but I don't think it likes my skin because my skin can be quite drying um, and I prefer like the wet concealers now I'm going to take my um, Revlon not Revlon, I always say Revlon Revolution conceal in the front and then just pack that on now I love this concealer but as I've said in my uh, in other videos, you don't get a lot. There we go. Okay, take 
cute. Now I am going to cream contour. I might just set my under eyes quickly. Um, because otherwise I'll crease. Again, just taking my Revlon translucent powder and my little Alfie brush. Work that into the skin and really press that under the waterline. Or under your eye, not the waterline. You know what I mean. If you can hear like a machine, that's just my dad. He's a carpenter. Okay, I'm going to use the Revlon. Revlon Photo Ready Intersculpt Duo Stick. I'm just using, I think it's medium. What is it? 002 medium oh, wow. I love a wet contour I mean I prefer a powder contour but I do like wet contours when I have time Whee. oh that one didn't go all the way through there we go I feel like Frankenstein now I'm just taking my beauty blender and really work that in just take a little bit. That's why I don't do it every day. You can use your foundation brush if you want to. But my foundation brush is like really old and gone crow. So I have to get a new one. Love it. Now I'm going to set my face. I like to do this um, before I do my highlighter because when it locks the powders in place. Um, Actually, I might just set my face first with a bit of translucent powder. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, I just like it. It's what I've always done. Really, I'm hardly taking anything, really. And just... There you go. Down there. And now I'm going to set it with the Rimmel Insta Fix and go. Sets all the powders. Um, and it makes your highlighter go on much more dewy. Okay, now I'm going to take the, it's all come off on the thing. It's the Revolution Vivid Peach Lights Baked Highlighter. I think I've used this like once or twice on my channel. Normally I use the Chi Chi, um, I forgot the name. You know the block I use, but I've been loving this one it's so gorgeous I'm just gonna take my do a lot of highlighting brush and just really get in there I want quite a um as normal I like to look like a disco ball so I want quite a um strong highlight just a little bit on my nose because my nose is a bit problematic today Okay. I'm just going to head with my big fluffy brush and just kind of set that all. You don't have to, it probably doesn't even really do anything, but. I like it. I'm now going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to go in with my lower lash line and then we'll put my lashes on. I am feeling a lash today. So we'll see. We'll see. Alright, guys. Can't promise anything. Um, where is my thing? There we go. I'm just going to take my normal, if you hear this, it's just me wiping my brush on my tissue paper. It's the Revlon eyeliner brush. It just looks like that, my normal one. And I'm actually going to kind of go for a grainy effect like I have in my eyes. So I'm going to go in with the yellow and orange from the Dubious Place palette. And it's going to go on the outer corner, on the lower lip of the outer corner like that. So that's going to go on the outer corner there, to the other eye. Try not to get on your eyeball like I've just done. And then grab the pink, you can again grab the one from the Judy's Place, Place palette or the NYX one, whatever one you like the best. You don't even need both of them for this, I just had them and I quite liked it 
and I'm putting that on the inner corner there. Now I'm gonna get a smudge brush, smudge brush, and just blend that together. Okay, so the lashes did not turn out. I do apologise, this is the second time now that I've tried and failed with lashes on camera, but I will practice. I don't know if it was the lashes, maybe they were just too big, I'm not really sure. Um, they were quite, quite big. Um, so you can kind of see my lashes are a bit screwed now, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. So I put um, some mascara on, I just used my Revlon Super Length mascara it's one of the green lid um itchy nose okay now i'm just going to put some mascara on my bottom lids i don't have my normal one that i use i'm just going to use the one with the blue lid and be very careful because so one that i normally use has a really small wand it's the revlon one revlon mascara with the red lid I made some boo-boos, but it's okay. It's gonna get a Q-tip, like a clean one, there we go. And just run that underneath. Okay. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more translucent powder on, just to set the whole thing. I'm going to use the Revlon Matte 045 Theme Future Pink. I love it. I call it Barbie Pink. Because it's Barbie Pink. Isn't it nice? It's so lovely. Okay. Always make sure your lips are dry because otherwise it's just going to slip and slide. If you're not great it looks like me, just take your time. Okay, I'm gonna love that. I'm just gonna set my face. to make sure I'm done. I love it. I wish I had somewhere to go now. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just going to stay at home. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and learned some tips and tricks and, you know, give it a go. Have fun. Be bold. Um, don't be afraid to mix it up with your colours. Like, go out like this. I would. I would so go out like this. I went out the other day and I had bright pink makeup on. So, yeah, just be bold. Be fun. Be creative. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned and see what comes next time. Bye, guys.